Hello everyone. Welcome to the final project presentation for the course Computational Photography. The title for this project is Neofield Photometric Stereo. Photometric stereo is one of the techniques which can be used for 3D reconstruction of objects using multiple images of the scene under varying illumination conditions. Now there are multiple variants of this setup uh, wherein the most simplest one is the far field photometric stereo using Lambertian objects. So in this case, we consider a Lambertian object as our scene and uh, use an infinitely far off light source such that the image intensity throughout the scene is constant as well as the direction of the light source throughout the scene is the same. And using the reflectance equation such as this, we can get the image formation model in such a far field scenario uh, as the following, which is known as the N dot L shading model. Here, we can see that the image intensity linearly depends on the light direction as well as the surface normal. And this is a much simpler uh, setup wherein we can reconstruct uh, the shapes of 3D objects. But in most practical scenarios, this is not easily real realizable as we deal with reconstructing large objects in constrained spaces. It's very tough to realize uh, this far field approximation. So a much more practical and convenient uh, scenario is using nearby point light sources wherein the location of point light sources are much closer to the surface of the object. And in this case, the image intensity is no longer constant throughout the scene. Rather, it falls off as in uh, using the inverse square law. So in such a near field approximation for a given point uh, X, uh, the image intensity depends in such a nonlinear way on the surface normal as well as the uh, 3D location X. So in this project, we look at how to solve the 3D reconstruction using such a near field setup. Uh, we use the Lucis dataset, which is a, one of the first real-world near-field photometric stereo datasets, wherein the objects are captured using this setup. As we can see, the light sources and the objects are much closer to each other. And these are some of the sample images from the dataset, as well as the uh, 3D ground truth reconstruction. And this dataset supports 14 such objects, uh, which have been captured under 52 uh, light source positions. And we use this for testing our approach. Coming to the method, we start off with uh, images of a static scene captured from the same viewpoint under different light source uh, positions. And since the light source positions are assumed to be unknown, we use a pre-trained calibration network to estimate the light, so light source directions and locations. Uh, using these images and light source locations, we use a CNN to estimate the normals of a particular image. Uh, here the normals refer to the surface normals and using these normals we also estimate the depth of that particular image. Now this neural network is called recursively at different scales of the image by successively upsampling it in each iteration. So at iteration 0 if the scale uh, if the resolution is this we successively increase it until we reach the final resolution of the image and this way we can get the full resolution normals and the depths um, of the original image. Here are the results for the Lucis dataset. Here is one of the sample input images. And using the uh, approach as mentioned earlier, these are the predicted normals and depths. And using the camera intrinsics and the depth values, we can estimate the predicted 3D shape of the object. Uh, just for reference, I have also included the ground truth normals and the ground truth shape here as well. And this is another example from the same dataset for the hippo object. I have also considered uh, captured images in this near uh, near field photometric stereo setup of different objects and these are the results for that this is the uh, three con uh, 3d reconstructed shape and this is for another object in the same way in this project i also uh, implemented another method to estimate the depth given the surface normals at the full resolution of the image we can use a binary object mask uh, which can be obtained by a pre-trained network such as sam and using Poisson integration uh, for um, this mask is, uh, to estimate the boundary conditions, we can estimate the depth as follows. This cannot be a substitute for the neural network approach because that uh, model is required for the depth estimates in the intermediate steps, but this can be another alternative to estimate the depth uh, at the final resolution. These are the results for the other images in the Lucis dataset. And these are the some of the images which uh, these are some of the results for the images which have been captured by me. Thank you.